Hey y'all, welcome to Jenny Fit Start. We have a great workout for y'all today. All you need is a chair and a small space. It's gonna be a total lower body strengthening workout. It's great if you have weak or painful knees, weak or painful hips, or just simply wanna get stronger in your legs to help with any other daily activities. So get your chair and let's get started. Okay, here we go. I want you to stand behind your chair. We're gonna go through lots of different exercises. We're gonna do everything two sets of 10. I'll keep track, you just follow along. You're gonna hold your hands right up the chair and you're gonna bend your knees and stand up. Bend your knees and stand up. Now let me cue you on a good squat because you can't really see me well right here. You're gonna have your weight on your heels Bend only as far as you want to go, not past the point of pain. Almost like you're sitting in a chair. One more. Good. And we'll go right to the second set. Stay where you are. I'm just turning so you can see what it should look like. Ready? Here we go. Bend and up. Weights on the heels. Stick your behind out. Good. And keep going. Hands are for balance. Two more. One more. Great job. We're going to move to the next one. You're going to take your right leg, lift it out, and in. Nice and easy. I want you to go at any speed that works for you. If that means slower or faster than me, so be it. Yes. Control. And rest. Good, you're gonna go right into your second set. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Try to keep your toes facing right in front, not towards the ceiling. Because we're trying to get a specific area back here with the hip and glutes. One more. And so we're now lopsided. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Out and in. Out and in. As high as you want to go. Yes. So my hands are for balance, right? I'm not leaning on it. Just for balance. And 10. Okay, we're going right into your second set. Ready? Go. No equipment needed today. We're just using our body's resistance, gravity, One more. And now you might be saying, but I felt that on my other side, and that is good and that is normal. We're working both legs because we're in a standing position. The third exercise is raising up on our tiptoes and then pulling the toes forward. I know you can't see me what I'm doing. So I want you to come. <laughs> you can't see me there either. All we're doing, heels, toes. Heels, toes. We're working the calf muscles and the muscles right below with the knee in the front. Tibialis anterior, that's a long, complicated name. So we just say the muscles where the shins are. Good, these are great for balance. Yes. Two more. One more. And rest. Good. And we'll do another set of 10. Now that you know what that looks like, I can go in my little place. Here we go. Heels, toes. Heels, toes. So you're still upright, okay? I'm not leaning way back to get my toes up. Doesn't matter how high you get the toes up. Just get them up. Yes. 
Two more. And one. Great job, moving right along. We're gonna do what's called a plie. I want your legs outside as wide as the chair is. Then point your toes out. Now bend the knees and up. Knees out and up. Good. So this should feel different than a squat. Maybe you're feeling a little bit more on the inner thighs, and that's what we want. Now if it bothers your knees to go this far down, what you would do is just a tiny one, okay? Just lessen the movement. If it still bothers you, take it out completely. Rest. All right, second set of 10, here we go. One. Two. I like to try and squeeze my buttocks, my glutes, as I come up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Walk your legs back in. You're doing a great job so far. We have one more exercise to do behind the chair and you're gonna scoot it to the side a little bit. With your right leg, you're gonna step out and pull in, okay? Now this is the level one version. Seems pretty easy, right? Level two version, bend, step in, okay? You pick what version, ready, go. Bend, together. Side, lunge. You're doing a great job, y'all. Keep up the good work. And 10, we have another set to do, so you can take a little rest break, not much. We're moving right through these, ready? Let's go. Out and in. Out and in.
and that's 10. Okay, we'll do one more set. Stay where you are. Ready? Go. So they really shouldn't feel like kicks, right? More like lifts. And 10. Good. So, you might have felt that on the other leg and that's fine. And because of all these one-legged exercises, we're going to be going back and forth. So, turn, same exercise, other leg. Ready? Pendulum, straight leg. One more. And ten. Little rest. Let's get right back into it. Ready? Let's go.
You're going to stay there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have one more to do. Let's go back. These are called lunges. We're going to do ten lunges for still the outside leg. Step and come back. Got it? Well, let me show you the bad way to do it. This is what I see a lot. You take a little step. You see how my knees over my toes? That's bad. Watch the better way. Straight down. Okay? Let's try it. You do not need to hold on if you can do it without it. Maybe this isn't good for your knees. Maybe this doesn't feel right. Here's your option. Just step forward and pull back. Just step forward and pull back. That was 10. So we take a little breather. A little rest. Not much. 10 more. Let's go. How are we doing? You ever said I know these are hard. One more. Woo! Yes. We turn around. We do the outside leg. Lunge and forward. Lunge, four. We have three more. Come on, y'all. Eight. Nine. Pushing with our hands. 
because this is a leg workout, okay? Now, we're gonna work one leg at a time. Oh, you can't really see my feet very well, sorry. You're gonna put one foot in, one foot out. Let's put the right leg out. And you're gonna try and stand up and down. So, if you're doing it correctly, your right foot is a little bit farther than the left, and you should feel it more on the left leg, okay? If this is too hard, you're going to put your feet together and do a regular one, okay? You decide. Sorry, you can't see my feet very well. They're just staggered, though. And no flopping, right? We're sitting down nice and slowly. And that's 10, so we take a little rest. But I want you to stay just like this, okay? Don't switch feet yet. Ready? Go. Now, I have a good look at my legs right now, so it's very helpful for me to make sure to see that I'm pretty even. But what I see in class a lot, let me show you. I see a lot of this, right? And I see a lot of this. So your idea is that you're really centered. You should feel pretty centered even though we have staggered feet. I think I'm counting right. If I am, that's 10. So we take a little rest and we switch feet. So now my left leg is a little farther than my right, okay? And by standing up, I'm working my right leg a little bit more, okay? Yes. And maybe you're saying, I can do it, but I need to help. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Good. Come on, halfway there. And guess what? We have two more. Your legs are gonna feel amazing after this. 10. So I want you to stay where you are, our legs are the same, but we have another set. Ready? Let's go. My class tells me that when I say ready, it's a very hypothetical question because we're going anyway. So, when you hear me say ready, you better get ready because we're going. Yes. Come on, y'all, you're doing great. Guess what, you only have two more. And one more. And relax. You're gonna scoot back to the chair. This is our last exercise. Take your right leg, straighten it, and release. Oh, this is a piece of cake after all that we've done, but it is important because we are really concentrating on strengthening the quadriceps right around the knee joint. So if you have arthritis, we can't go in and cure the arthritic bone, unfortunately. What we can do is strengthen the muscles around, oh that's 10, around the bone so that it's really supported. And that should help ease your pain. Another set. So you don't need to lift your leg off the chair, but I do want the leg really straight, almost like you're trying to pull your kneecap up. And 10. Without much rest, we're going to move to the other side. Let's go. Very nice. So really, we've done about 13 exercises. It's a lot of work. We did two sets of 10 and rest. 
One more set. Ready? Go. So if you do this video over and over, um, and they start to, you know, you start to remember them, know that you could do them all the way up to three sets of 15, and it would still be really good and safe. I would recommend doing this workout for three days a week, alternating days, maybe like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then you could do my arm workout Tuesday, Thursday. See how that works? And 10. Oh, we're done. Good job. I'm going to take you through a quick stretch just for your legs. Okay, let's just get through a few stretches because you work those legs so hard. We're going to start by stretching the back of the leg, which is the hamstring. So take your right leg and straighten it out. Keep your knees straight and bend forward. And then go down a little farther. Feel the pull behind the knee. Should not be painful, but you'll feel a stretch. And then we're going to stretch kind of there where the glutes and buttocks are. We're going to do that by grabbing your knee and giving it a good hug. While you're hugging, I want you to roll the ankle. Other direction. And then you're going to really turn that leg so that the ankle is on the knee. And maybe your knee is up like this, but I would challenge you to try to get it as flat as possible. And feel the stretch in your hip. If you want a deeper stretch, lean forward. Take that leg, unravel it, and do the same three exercises on the other leg. Straighten that left leg, foot down, knee straight, bend forward. Really great job, y'all. I hope that everyone is staying safe. I want you to lean forward a little bit more. And then you're going to take your leg, grab your knee, pull it for a hug, and roll the ankle. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you clicking like. That helps me really um, see what videos are good, which ones y'all enjoy. I try and read almost all of my comments, so I appreciate a comment as well. And then turn ankle on the knee. And lastly, if you wouldn't mind, click that red subscribe button, and that means you will get a notification when I add a new video. So I want you to lean forward. Thanks for tuning in. We are done. I hope you have an amazing day.